Welcome back everybody. Thank you for joining in. My name is Victor Prasad. I'm a real estate broker associate here in Southwest Florida, Cape Coral. And today I am bringing you a new construction build. All right, so here we are at the front entryway. As you can see, we have soffit lightings in between, one main lighting underneath the foyer. From the pavered entryway to where that light is, it's about 13 feet. You're greeted with frosted doors that are eight foot tall with a transom window. That's super important because that transom window, since this is frosted, you get a lot more natural light that's allowed to pass through. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. All right, so here we are at the front and you can see that ceiling height continues here and you can see that soffit lighting is up there too. So you have lighting right here in the foyer and also on the front. So as soon as you walk in to our right here, we have the den, but in this case, it's actually a bedroom because we have a closet in here. The investor builder on this actually chose to put in built-ins in every single room, which is incredibly nice. On this wall here, you'll see it's pre-plumbed with electric and cable or ethernet that you could put in there. There's a window right in the front, and then we have tray ceilings as well with the fan. So I'm gonna come out of here. Now, we're back into the main living area, and you'll see again, here's the living room plumbed with electric, ethernet slash cable. And as soon as you come in, you're greeted with the super tall ceilings. 13 foot tray, 12 foot ceiling. To our right, we have the kitchen with pendant lighting. And then in the dining area over there, we have even another drop down lighting. So the countertops, as you can see, are quartz, chrome fixtures, and we could see back here on the glass top stove. And of course the microwave, all the appliances match their LG. I'm gonna go through the pantry here. Believe it or not guys, what do we always complain about? Storage, right? And boom, they put in built-ins inside the pantry as well. So you don't have to worry about coming in here and doing work to the property. Moving on to the laundry room, there's a utility sink with cabinets for extra storage, washer dryer combination go here. And that's also pretty handy to have those cabinets installed as well. All right, so here we are in the garage. If we take a quick look, we could see that it's epoxy flooring, three car garage. It's set back over here. And this is what's really cool. So hot water heater, that's not the cool part. But what's nice is that it's in line with that wall there to where you could park your cars or your truck fully in here without having to worry about hitting the hot water heater and not being able to put a full vehicle in. Of course, more lighting, soffit lighting that's up here. All right, now we're gonna go to the guest bedrooms. So first is the bathroom, guest bedroom one, guest bedroom two. And remember the third is the den, or the third bedroom is where the den is right off the front door. In the bathroom here, we have quartz countertops, efficiency toilet, number one, number two. And here is the bathroom. What makes this floor a little bit extra special is that they actually sealed it so it doesn't look as chalky like some other homes if they don't seal it it's a natural stone so not sealing it makes it look chalky and then on this side here chrome fixtures throughout and then we have an inset for your shampoo bottles and anything else it's nice to have a built-in nook or den where you can put that stuff in and then of course, beautiful shower doors. Look at that. Look at that, that is so clean. Really clean. Right? All right. Here's the bedroom, guest bedroom. With a pool bath that's connected to it. 
quartz countertops, same bathroom, same flooring, seal, tile, all the way up. Then we have the other guest bedroom, equipped with fan switches and whatnot. And again, the built-in closet. The last bedroom had them too. This has it as well. Really, really nice to have these built-ins. So it's truly a turnkey. Up there, electric, cable. Now let's go to the master bedroom. Here we are, as soon as we come in, fan is centered, four pot lights. We have a 10 foot tray, nine foot ceiling, a window that opens. So it's technically a trans, no, it's not a transom window. It's a window that's lifted up, but it has sliders so you could allow air to come through. Same thing on this wall here. Plumbed with cable, ethernet, and then also electric to put your TV on. And again, this property has, or this house has uh, the remote for the fan and lights and then switches as well. Now, homeowners that are with me right now, check this out. Built-in closet, shelving, drawers. You know, if you like being organized, and every, or not even being organized, if you like things to have a place, that's what built-ins actually do for you. His and hers, you're able to put your stuff and tuck it away without it being everywhere. All right, so here's the bathroom. Your tub, spout, handle, and then the inset of this tile that goes all the way up, really, really nice and detailed. Over here, his and her sink, chrome fixtures, quartz counter, spin around this way. The bathroom, and again, built-ins in the linen closet. I mean, how nice is that? Turnkey. Now the shower is really cool. So tile from floor to ceiling, transom window on top, natural stone tile, and then we have the drain, which is a flush mounted drain. Come back on this side here and look at that. We have two shower heads, two different control settings, and then an inset for your shampoos and other toiletries that go in the bathroom here, which is really nice. If you're married, you know having your own space is super helpful and way more efficient in the mornings when you're getting ready, right? Anywho, let's check out the backyard area and we'll wrap up this video. Control switches, I'm sorry, the switches and the remote controls for the fans and lighting. All right, so when we come out here, we can see we have two ceiling fans, pot lighting where you already have built-in lights the bar top area, so here's the sink, and then your bar. This is actually a cool design because having an open space like this, you could put whatever grill, so you're not committed to a certain type of grill to have here, and you have a storage that you could push in, and then right above it here is the ventilation. Once you're grilling out, that smoke goes straight out. You don't have to worry about getting smoke all in the lanai. There's that uh, pool bath that's connected to the guest bedroom. When you come out here, you can see you have a paver pad. Um, when you come out here, you can see you have pavers around the pool deck, along with a splash pad, stairs going in, and another little shelf area to sit down there. And again, they have, and what makes it really nice is the fact that there's fencing that goes around this entire property. So there's nothing additional that you would have to do. Now, pool cages are becoming something that people that have a love-hate relationship with them. So are pool cages nice? Sometimes. It depends on the individual. With having no cage, it allows you to be in and out of the property, play on the side yard with the kids, people could be in the pool. You know, there's no type of barrier for you to go from one side or the other. On this side here, we have a little wash off area. A 
wash off area and then to the side of the home here is where all the pool equipment's at. Your pump, your filter, and heater for the pool, which is super nice. And then all your shutoff valves that are here. And before I forget, I didn't mention this yet, but this tile is actually textured. I don't know if you could hear that or not. I know it's pretty windy, but this tile is textured, so you don't have to worry about slipping on it, which is really nice. Some people who put tile out there, it's not the right texture, so it becomes very, very slippery when it gets wet. And then again, if you could see here, all these are drains. So if when it rains or whatnot, of course you're gonna have some water that comes over, but when the water is pitched, or when the water's, when the rain is falling and it comes in, it'll go into these drains here and lead out to the grass. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of this quick tour of this property that's soon coming onto the market. For information on this property, check the description box below. And if you're looking to connect with me, all my information is gonna either pop up here or you can find it in the description box below. Click my Calendly link and be able to do a consultation with me. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and tap that like button if you found value. Smash subscribe if you wanna keep up to date with the latest content that's coming in the area. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.